Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true, proper, and correct name of the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus, the Prince and Savior of Israel, his true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful and faithful elect scattered abroad. And an honorable mention to you, to you Akim out there, you uh, sincere, diligent, faithful brothers, preaching this truth in all sincerity, charity, and diligence. All right, I'll put up this video on the screen. The title is, Tried and Failed, Believe in Hell. It's from the Brother GMS Life Lesson. Uh, play a couple minutes of this here video, and uh, Lord willing, through the Spirit, uh, bring out some edify edification. All right. Uh, I got to get this scripture because for those who are not uh, familiar with what's going on with uh, the various Israelite uh, sects, so to speak, that want to come up against or break away or try to refute the teachings from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you have to understand what's going on here. Uh, and I'll get this scripture real quick. This is, uh, well, that one will take a long time to load, so I have to get it right here, Salakia. This is uh, Psalms chapter, what is it? Psalm 106, let me see. This is Psalm 106, verse 16. It says, They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of Yahweh. All right? Because basically what you're witnessing is envy, man. Because Moses and Aaron were the leaders, the top leaders of Israel. Moses, all right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, then Moses, and then Aaron, okay? And then the officers delegated to the, um, to, to, you know, the, 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 the rulers of the different tribes, right? But the scripture says they envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord. When you read about uh, the, the men that rose up against Moses, tried to heap to, the, to themselves followers, tried to be leaders in their own, it all comes from envy, man. All of this stems from envy because these people, these guys, they want it, but they just ain't got it. Because the, the scriptures say it is not, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. All right, so whatever office that, the Most High through His Son bless you with, that's your duty to carry out. That's not your duty to disagree with it. You know, the Lord give you a talent and you say, oh, this ain't good enough, so I'm going to go and bury it. You know what I'm saying? That's not up to you. But I just wanted to bring that out because what's going on with all of these varying doctrines that's disagreeing with the Bible it's all stemming from envy and jealousy, man. All right, let's go back uh, to the video. Central song. There's actually an apocrypha that actually has those missing verses included. I forgot the actual name of the apocrypha. Um, when you go to the spiritual world, that's when you receive your judgment. You serve your judgment here. Get that in matter of fact, it's three and Now, he was right. But what happens? Man, you going off, man. Hey, 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 hey. It's a scripture in the Bible. Uh, 
It's a scripture in Lord willing. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, talking about some don't expand their minds. Uh, man. Hold on real quick. Bear with me. Let me see if I can find the scripture just real quick. All right. Because this is a scripture in the Bible. When, when you go into that word in the Greek, when you go into that word, it means open mindedness, man. It actually mean that in the Bible. Let me see. Let me see if they give it to me. Nope. Because we single, we single minded. The scripture, the, the scripture say, if thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light, man. We single. We got tunnel vision when it comes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Whatever the whatever the scripture say, that's that, man. And that's it. We believe in and 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 we search out. You know? Let me see. Open minded. Like the scripture speaking, when you when you see this on the screen, it said the church of Berea said the church of Berea searched out those things to see if they were so. The Bible will prove itself if you just allow it to. OK. This 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 guy talking about, oh, it's another translation with such and such. It got the 70 verses missing, et cetera, such and such and such. Look, man, it may be multiple things missing from the Bible. The scripture say Yahweh Shad did so many works. It couldn't be comprised in the book, man. So that's neither here nor there, man. Now, what you don't want to do is get to searching out things that disagree with canon. In the words of Esau, canon, canon. All right. What the now you 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 clearly going to uh, going against what the scriptures say, man. And we're going to get into it. You talking about some this guys are saying we're going off, but they're not open minded. No, we not open minded, man. Does the scriptures say, uh. Uh, we got the spirit of truth, man. We ain't got the, the, the spirit of probability. Oh, it's probable. No, we ain't dealing with probable, man. We dealing with truth. Yay and nay. Up, down, left and right. We ain't dealing with the obscure in between middle ground, man. When you're of the righteous seed, when you die, keep the commandments of the most high, you, uh, you are on a, a safe have a spiritual habitation where you're safe. Look at him, he's reaching right now. He's reaching. So, and you see your works, you see the riches that are laid upon you. Scripture. Where's the scripture at? Where's that scripture? Where that scripture? Okay, that's enough on that. And basically, this is that brother. This is his video. He was like, this sounds like the hell doctrine. And that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, after the body die, the spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father. That's what the scriptures say. But then this guy says, basically, that you're going to be tormented. All right? And we got, you know, I, this... I was inspired from another brother to do this video. Uh, one of the, uh, the elder brothers out of Chicago... And then I went to the source, which was this video. And, you know, it's going to be... Brothers going to do videos on this, man, because this ain't right, man. The scriptures say we are we are set in defense of the gospel. So you're... And, and, and being in defense of the gospel, that means we're not going to let you lie on it. Now, if you want to talk about hell, et cetera, you pick you up a Quran and say this, man. You pick you up a, the Book of Mormon and get to saying all this. You... You pick up uh, a keeper knee gas or uh, Taoism, Taoism, whatever. 
Don't pick up the Bible and get to stay in this garbage. That's when you're going to have the men of the Lord. All right? Because that we take this personal, man. Go pick you, go, go write your own book and say this, man. Don't, don't, don't pick up the Bible and get to saying this stuff, man. Because the scriptures don't agree with what you're saying. Simple scriptures. All right, we're gonna get some some clear, cut and dry scriptures, all right, that do not agree with the hell doctrine, with what you're saying, man. Okay, so this don't want to work, Satan. Okay. All right. This is, uh, let's start off with Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, man. A clear cut scripture, man. It says, Then shall the dust return to the earth. As it was, what is the dust? Your body. What is your body made up with? Your body is made up of the earth. When you read in Genesis, it says the Lord formed man out of the ground, out of the earth. Your body is comprised of all the minerals that are in the earth. All right. The dust. OK. And the spirit shall return. And the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. Scripture speaks about the Most High, the Almighty Yahweh, being the father of spirits. So he gave the spirit. So when the body dies and returns back to the dust and decompose, what? The spirit goes back to the author. What? The spirit is pure energy. Even Esau's science says that energy is neither lost but only transferred. So it's transferred from that dead body into the, the everlasting, almighty, eternal energy that gave it in the first place, man. All right? So, follow that up with Job, the third chapter, man. What's that, Job? Let's see, Job 3 and 14. Uh, I'll start 11, Job 3 and 11. Why did I not, why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me or why the breast that I should suck? So Job was basically complaining about why didn't he just die from the beginning of his birth. For now should I have lain still and been quiet and should have slept and then had I been at rest. Because Job know that when, the, when you die, your spirit is at rest, man. It says, with kings and counselors of the earth which built desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold who filled the houses with silver, or as in hidden untimely birth, I had not been as if it's which never saw light. So he's talking about I should have died as a king or a counselor that built desolate places for themselves. Desolate means destruction. It says, or with princes that had gold who filled the houses with silver, so you was just focused on riches. Or as in hidden untimely birth, I had not been as if it was never saw light. So a still birth. So in the spirit world, when you die where your soul go, Job says, Job 3 and 17, there... The wicked cease from troubling and the weary be at rest. So the evil stop being evil and the tired are stop being tired. They finally get their rest. Weary is to be tired. It says there the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the press of the oppressors. So those that's dealing with slavery, it says there the prisoners rest together. So the, 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 the those who lived on earth as slaves, those who lived on earth as slave masters, when when both of those bodies die, both souls are in the spirit realm together at rest. It, verse nineteen: the small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Okay? All right, and that's everybody, man. The small and the great. When you die, that is where your body go. When you, when you type in, um, when you go into this subject matter for the different videos, the other brothers goes into it, man. They go into it, which says, uh, you know, when you get to go into Ecclesiastes, the place of judgment. I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Uh, judgment is carried out on the earth, man. The Lord judges you on the earth. You, you're not judged in the spirit world. Hey, when Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai, uh, when those Pharisees came to Yahweh Shai 
and they asked him, told them about the wife who married seven husbands. When she died, who did she belong to? Yahweh Shai said, she is, uh, she is like the angels in heaven, neither given or uh, taken in marriage. He didn't say she, she going to be fucked up and punished or, you know what I'm saying, depending on. Look, man, in the spirit world, it's rest for everybody, man. It says, uh, verse 20. Wherefore is life given to him that is in misery and life unto the bitter in soul. All right. Now, uh, Lord willing, if my um, I had some um, some precepts lined up in this app, but for whatever reason, it's searching. Okay, Lord willing, I can remember them. All right, uh. All right, let's see what I got. I had this. Let's see. Salaki, I can. Let's see. First Timothy 4 and 1. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, we are in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. And we witnessing that. Those guys were once a part of the foe. Giving heed to seducing spirits. And doctrines of devils. And it's not the, the ideology of hell, a doctrine of a devil. And ideology means the idea. The scriptures are based on fact and reality. Okay? Hell being a separate dimension reserved for eternal punishment to evil and wicked doers. That's not a, a fact. That's an ideology. So the scripture says, 1 Timothy 4 and 1, Now the Spirit speaketh especially that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil. Now, what is the devil? A devil is a deceiver. Who is the ultimate deceiver? The, the so-called white man. Esau, the biblical Edomite. He deceived the whole world, man. So that is one of his doctrines. Doctrines of devils. Doctrines of the deceivers. Doctor, doctrines of the so-called white man And what is hell anyway Hell was an ideology Placed as fact uh, Originated from the Catholic church Now If you do your research Okay this, You will come to find That the Catholic church Invented the idea of hell To receive More tithes and more money. Now, initially, this, this was only supposed to be towards the elites, the nobles, those with had those who had money. This was a this was a way to escape the condemnation of sin, to basically buy your way out of it and pay your way out of it. Okay? This wasn't even extended to everybody. This was just for the elite to basically get a free ride out of the figment called hell in regards to being an everlasting dimension of punishment. All right. A separate dimension, you know, with Satan being a, a, a devil horned red man poking you in the ass with a pitchfork. All right. So this is what the 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 um the uh how do you call it damn it the uh the high the the, the high status high authority catholic church officials they spread this to the 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 high nobles so the nobles was paying to oh okay the, all right well I'm paying. but then it got so deep where they extended it to the nobles got to paying money for, and you can research all of this. All right, uh, Esau, one of the, um, when you read Deuteronomy 28, it says, thou shalt become a proverb and a byword. What's a proverb? One of the proverbs that them devils came up with is, if you want to hide anything from a nigga, put it in a book. Because why? Niggas don't read. I read this out of a book. This is in a book somewhere. This is, East, this is documented. By the so-called white man. So search it out and find it. All right. So afterwards, they extended it 
to the nobles' dead relatives. So these, these dummies was paying money for their own selves not to escape hell and they dead relatives. So the, uh, the upper elite, you know, the upper status in the Catholic church was looking like, well, damn, we getting all this money. Then they extended it to everybody and they extended it to the poor and they extended it to everybody. We might as well get money from all these, these dummies. All right. So that's the whole thing, man. All right. That's the whole thing, man. That's hell. That's hell in a nutshell in regards to hell being because we know the scripture speaks of hell as being as a, as a condition. When it when it's when it says Jonah was in the belly of the beast, they said that was hell. Why? Because that was a terrible condition for him to be in the belly of the big fish, man. We know that the scripture say that hell is the grave where it says, though, though you dig into hell. There shall I get you in Amos, roughly paraphrasing. So we know that the scriptures, the scriptures speak of hell as the grave in the earth or a condition, a terrible, bad condition. Not a separate dimension where you'll be tormented for eternity. All right. That's the doctrine of a devil. First Timothy four and one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. All right. Let's go to Isaiah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter one verse three. It says, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. And that word consider to me, it means, uh, let me see if I got this ready back yet. That word consider means uh, to search out diligently, diligently, man. You know? To, uh... You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, man, somebody can tell you anything, man. That don't mean it's true. So when you, when, when you, when you search out something diligently, you seeking to see if it's truth or not for your own self. Okay? Uh, what's that in Romans? What's that? Let me see. Simple. Let me see. So like, yeah, uh, I know it's a scripture in Romans, but I wonder if I can see if I can get it real, real quick. It's like Romans 13 and 8. Oh, you don't want to give it to me. All right, you want to be a devil. Oh, oh wait a minute. It, it did give it to me. Romans 16 and 18. Yeah, 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 that's it. This is Romans 16 and 18. Let me see, start up. 17. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary, contrary mean opposite against, in opposition to, to the doctrine which you have learned. And we ain't learned nothing about no hell, man. Coming to the truth of knowing that we was Israelites, knowing that the Lord's name was Yahweh, his son's name was Yahweh Shai. Knowing that Esau was the so-called white man, all right, from the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, we ain't learned nothing about no eternal dimension of torment called hell, man, which they teach in the Catholic Church, the Baptist Church, and all the other churches, man. The scripture says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses, because that's an offense, man. It's a heresy. Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashayat, but their own belly. Now, when you go into that word belly in the Greek, it means their own inner mind, their own personal. And the scriptures thinks about the scriptures so like it, the scripture speaks about uh leaning to your own understanding, man. The scripture says there is a way that seem right to a man. The end thereof is death, man. That's your own belly. 
It say, and by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple, man. Because there was a crowd out there listening to that hoopla. Because it wasn't edification, it was hoopla. It was dung, man. Garbage. All right? And that when you go into that word simple, it means, uh, 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 in the Greek, uh, uh, it means, uh, give you a rough definition. It means not expecting evil from anyone, man. So it basically, to give you a today's word, it means gullible. Deceiving the hearts of the gullible, man. With those, with those good words, look, 20, 30, 40 dollar words and fair speeches, you know, elo eloquent talk, man. All right. Uh, did I have something else? If I did, man, this thing ain't working. But yeah, man, uh, before I close out, man. Like I like I quoted earlier, we said in, in defense of the gospel, man. Anybody that pick up this Bible and speak contrary to it is an enemy, man. It's a total enemy, man. That is the scripture. That is the scripture, man. Because the scripture says, mark them that cause divisions and avoid them. We're not going to be joined hand in hand and like these guys do. You got these guys, got these Hebrew Israelite summits and they have... Some think Cornelius is an Israelite. Some think he's not an Israelite. Some think hell is, some believe in hell. Some don't believe in hell. Some believe he just can be saved. Some don't. Some got the name. Some don't got the name. Come on now. The scriptures told us to mark divisions. All them divisions that you still, the scriptures say can two walk together unless they agree. That's why the scriptures say they serve their own belly. They serve not our Lord Yahweh Shad Mashiach, man. Uh, I'm going to close with this scripture. Uh, this is Psalm. Uh, it's a lot here. Is it 139? Nope, it ain't 139. I haven't, man. I have to, I have to, I have to search it real quick. So like, yeah, I can, let me just search it. You no, know, it's like Psalm 139, one, oh yeah, it is 139. It says, uh, I start at 21. Matter of fact, I start at 20. I start at 19. This is Psalm 139 and 19. It says, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O power. It said, it started off saying, Surely, like without a shadow of a doubt, like that's a guarantee that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to slay the wicked. It says, Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain, man. When you coming out there in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you speaking against the words that he said, you coming against his name in vain, man. That's what these guys doing, man, with this hell, this hell doctrine, man. Verse 21, do not I hate them, O Yahweh, they hate thee, and them not I grieved with those that rise up against thee. And we grieve with y'all that rising up against the doctrine, man, because you coming up against the Lord. Yahweh I said, I come in the volume of the book. It speaks of me. All right. He is the in the beginning was the word. He is this word, man. We grieved with those that disagree with this book, man. And what's even worse for those that disagree with the book is that those that take the book and pollute it with all Various heresies, man. You better off being a Muslim, disagreeing with the Bible, than to take the Bible and 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 pervert it. Okay. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Verse twenty-one. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, 
that hate thee, that's a cut on you people that talking about we supposed to love everybody, man. Scripture say, love the good and hate the evil, man. Y'all, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah said, uh, I'm grieved, uh, I'm, I'm angry with the wicked every day, man. All right? Sirach 12 and 6, man. The Lord hate the sinner. Not you church uh, people. Oh, he don't hate you. He hate the sin. No, Sirach real quick. I don't want to, you know, just real quick, and then we're going to go back. This is Sirach uh, 12. No. Uh, 12 or 6 For the most high hated sinners And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment So who knows what the Lord got for you people man That's speaking against his Lord He might, he, he, he might have you get hit by a bus Get attacked by dogs Get shot up Or he might keep you and reserve you For a missile You might have a missile with your name written on it Who knows man but the point is, the most high hated sinners, sinners, what is a sinner? A person that commits a sin. So the scripture just said, the Lord hate the sinner, man. That's for you, uh, you so-called church people. All right, back in Psalms 139, uh, 21, it says, uh, do not. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? Verse 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. And those that are that are that are speaking and walking contrary against the doctrine and the counsel of the, the scriptures, which was which was which was broken down and uh made plain. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That's that's a plain fact. So those that that are against that are our enemies, man. We 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 hate y'all perfectly, man. I'll just finish this out. It says, Search me, O power, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And 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 asking the Lord that. When you ask the Lord to to, to you know. To know your heart and to try your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'll read verse 24. And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. You ask the Lord, like, that's a humble state of affairs to be in, man. You know, like, yeah, how about Shimei? I was shy. Um, if I'm going off, change that. If I'm doing things contrary to you, change that, Baba Kushai. Make me, basically, make me a vessel that you love. Make me a vessel. Uh, make me a vessel for you to use righteously. You know what I'm saying. I want to be in your good graces, man. I don't want to serve my own belly. You know, pride is uh, is the beginning. When man, uh, 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 I'm gonna leave off on this scripture, man. Uh, I know it's just a rock. See if it, yeah, it says, Sirach, and it might be something else. This is Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. All right, so when you, when you set your affections away from the Most High and you get to serve in your own belly, man, that's pride, man. Verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And these guys are just... Man, the scriptures is manifest. They pouring out abomination. Oh, oh, all Esau not going to be killed. Uh, that's one abomination. Salakia. Uh, such thing as a hell doctrine. That's one abomination. Oh, we weren't taught by man. We was taught by the book directly. Another abomination. Tribe of Dan. Another abomination. Flat Earth. Another abomination. Ain't no, ain't no authority. On earth, only in the heavens. Another abomination. Just constant, constant, constant abomination. That's why the scriptures say, read it again. Uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes 10 and 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai 
brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. So we know the end result of those coming in this manner, in this prideful manner, pouring out abomination. All right. And with that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai out. This video was edifying. Um, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Bakayar, which is to say, bless the Most High, bless His Son, and bless the elect. Shalom.